And so a lot of companies now develop uh, consumer goods and they, they're okay to pay for the industrial design, pay for the, the engineering design uh, and so on. But before investing in tooling, before uh, committing to a first mass production run, they want to test the market. And it's also, so there's a number of benefits of that, right? You, you test the market, you get some feedback. If it works on Kickstarter or Indiegogo, okay, you really sort of launched, uh, you know, market traction wise. You, 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 you get some pre-sales, so that's great. That's, uh, that, that's cash that maybe you will, you will need to invest in tooling and so on. And it forces you, a crowdfunding campaign really forces you to put together a nice marketing, uh, nice marketing content and really be very clear about who you target. And then actually very often go out there and do, the, um, do all of the, 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 the communication, the, the, the advertising and so on that you need to do to spread the word. And so if it works for that campaign, it, you probably already qualified also the, the marketing channels to sell your product, right? So there's a lot of benefits. And there's also some downsides about, you know, opening up and what you're doing before even you're on the market and so on. So there's, there's a lot of pros and cons, but a lot of companies go for that. So if they want to design for, for crowdfunding, what, what should they do, right? Certain types of products tend to do well on Kickstarter and Indiegogo. If you go on it like these days, you know, I don't know, in the past year, there were a lot of uh, electronic bikes, for example, e-bikes. And and there's certain categories like this that are a very good fit. And there's some other product categories that are not a very good fit. So you you might first want to to double check on your concept before going into that. And and it has to have some kind of cool aspect to it or a smart aspect or something that that really differentiates it uh, in a way that that will look good on on that kind of platform and number three if you design for crowdfunding you really want to plan for for that from the start to get to a, a prototype that really looks good as early as possible because this would really be instrumental um in in your campaign so that that's yeah design for crowdfunding 